Good evening. We are back for episode three. And this week, we'll still be bringing you all the usual new music and tour news. And we'll be deep diving into some C to C news. How are you this week, Jamie? It's, it's going all right. You know, it's, you know, it's not been too long since we did this on Saturday. And um, I survived my uh, potential trauma today of being stuck in a lift at work. Um, which lasted about 20 minutes uh, and then kind of managed to get out, had some Taco Bell, came back um, and spoke to a seafork this afternoon. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. And yeah, just like everybody else, pumped for next week. So counting down those days till C2C 2022. Yeah, so we've kept our C2C countdown going with interviews. There's even more interviews online now because we had Mastel we posted yesterday on yep. the website and say C4 will be coming tomorrow so what's that Friday so that'll be a few up and then we got even more planned going into next <laughs> week and then even sitting down over the weekend yeah we should have a chat with Everett coming over the weekend or early next week and then once we get into the full nitty-gritty we you know we've got loads lined up um you know, there's plenty coming, which we're really excited about to kind of be bringing to everyone. Okay, you're going to kick us off with some tour news then for this week? Yeah, like there's, there's kind of been some sort of bits that have come out. So we've got a couple of tours that come out. Morgan Evans is going to be playing a show in London um, later this year. And also Sarah Evans, who's already playing Long Road Festival, has announced some kind of dates around that, around the country. And, you know, we'll, you'll be able to find those kind of dates and stuff kind of online and kind of through our socials and things. Um, and in addition to that, kind of the main sort of tour news is that Tennessee Fields, um, Georgie's announced more of her lineup with Neil Arts uh, being announced as the headliner, which is, I think it's a great booking uh, for what they've got there. Uh, Neil's obviously playing c to c She's doing some stuff on the Indigo stage, Spotlight stage and people will be able to see her next weekend and it's going to be her first time headlining the festival which is great and the other festival news uh gavin and christine kind of shared about millport where they've got candy carpenter um who we we already knew she was playing because like you know she was kind of a friend of ours um but she's going to be headlining the maverick uh acoustic country stage up there so plenty of exciting stuff on like the tour front coming through the year so I haven't got too much for new music. So we're recording this Thursday night. So I haven't seen too much of the new music releases. I had one through today, which is an interesting one. A band called Hudson Valley. Okay. Do you know them? Not, not familiar. I'm not familiar with the name either. But they have released a song from their upcoming self-titled EP. And it is a effectively a rock and roll slash pump pop punk cover of Old okay. Dominion's Shut Me Up. Right. So, yeah. It's actually not too bad. That's cool. You're, and, you're, you're lost of words on that one, aren't you? No, I just like, you know, it's a new name for me, but obviously, you know, I'll check out and hope other people will too. Yeah, no, um, I had not heard the name before today. So, yeah, it was a new name for yeah. me today. Yeah. But there's, there's kind of like a big album coming you know, so we're recording this on Thursday, so it's going to drop tomorrow um, from, like, you know, the biggest artist, not just in country music, but just in music in general. So, like, Dolly Parton, uh, she's been working with James Patterson um, for a novel and the accompanying album that's going to come with it, um, and that's going to drop tomorrow. So I'm sure that's going to be kind of, like, dominating what a lot of people will be talking about. Um, and as well... Um, Band of Horses, who headlined Black Deer a couple of years back. They've got a new album coming out as well. They're probably doing the most genuine European tour that you'll see. They've got dates in Belgium, they've got Holland, they've got Germany, Portugal, Spain, Italy, UK, the full works. So they've got a new record out tomorrow, which is, you know, I'm really looking forward to hearing. And kind of beyond that, Stereophonics got a record out. Diplo's got a new album out. Are they um, still going? 
<clears throat> in my, like they they kind of like their like headline sales and stuff are still huge. I was chatting to someone in work about it yesterday. He's like, oh, I'm going to see the Stereophonics like at the O2 in March. And like, we really struggled to get tickets. You're like, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so Kelly and the boys, they're dropping a new record out tomorrow, which, you know, if you're listening to Radio X or kind of the main absolute and things, you're probably going to be hearing a lot of that. But that's not generally what we're kind of talking about and stuff. But, you know, we still like to listen to kind of all those things and, I said Diplo, it's not in a Thomas Wesley um like country genre again like the last record. He's gone back to kind of doing the full on like EDM stuff. Um so that'll be cool to listen to as well. So there's lots of exciting things to you know, come about what's coming out tomorrow. Okay. The main event of this evening. Having bought my Tyson Fury tickets yesterday, I'm gonna build it up boxing style. Only cost me £101. I was going to say, you need to do the whole sort of like, you know, the Howard Finkel, like old school wrestling kind of announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. (laughs) This is the moment you've been waiting for. This is actually a really good setup for the segment you're going to be launching over the weekend as well. It is. And we're going down that vein, which we'll come to after. But anyway, I've interrupted one too many times. So, Okay, so we are about to pick individually there's going to be no clashes we're going to pick our top seven artists to see who are not on the main stage okay so this does rule out of selection the following people miranda lambert kip moore russell dickerson priscilla block tyra kennedy morgan wade darius rucker brett young scotty mccreary to neil towns luke combs ashley mcbride flatland cavalry and Hayley Witters cannot be picked. So what this is we're doing is is our way of saying who we're looking forward to seeing during the daytime, during C2C, because obviously there's so much going on during the festival. You know, for a lot of people, like everyone knows like what Luke's got in his back catalogue and how good he is and Miranda and Kip and all those sort of people. But there's going to be a lot of names for people that have not come across before. So we sort of, we thought we'd go down kind of like the NFL sort of route of doing a draft, you know, so a first round pick, second round pick, whatever. So we're going to kind of basically pick seven, seven each of people that are playing either spotlight stage, the BBC two uh, stage in the Indigo, um, Town Square, um, big entrance stage, garden stage or icon stage, and just kind of just sort of say, these are people we would go and see and a very quick intro as to why we think they're quite cool. And there's some of these artists will have gold selling singles, platinum singles, have won major awards and things, and they're playing on free to view stages as well. I think that's the incredible thing about CC that there's obviously this year, there's probably, I would say more homegrown artists than ever there, but there's also so many gems from USA, Canada, Australia, and the UK playing, and you can watch them for free. I think that's the incredible yeah. thing. The weekend there's, coming there's, up. There's some, there's some stuff obviously like for the the town square and the indigo that people will need a ticket. But like even on like the big the entrance stage, so which to me is the best stage you'd want to be playing because anyone that walks into that, you know, into the O2, whether they're there for the festival or they're just going for dinner or they're going to the cinema the first thing they're going to see when they walk through the door, when they've walked around and got up to the station in North Greenwich is that stage. And, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to cover at least, you know, one or two of the guys that are going to be playing on there between us. Um, so how, how do we decide who's going first? We didn't even kind of think about this when we addressed it before. Youngest first. That's you. Well, we're back. By about we're a week. Just about. Okay. So. Okay, hold on. Jamie's number one pick. Okay, this is serious stuff. So with the first pick in the first round of the C2C 2022 draft in our country in the UK magical scenario, Jamie Gardham selects the pride of Shepherdport, Louisiana, the man that is going to absolutely 
dominate the after show party on Saturday night with his own show as well in Camden, following up after I pick Willie Jones has to be. He's the coolest man going and you know, he might not be everyone's cup of tea what they're gonna see, but you know, he's the best live performer anyone's gonna see all weekend. You've just stolen my number two pick. That was my number two. So that's good though, because it means your number one's still there. That is good. So we check where do you want Willie Jones is for venue. So Willie Jones will be playing on Friday. He'll be playing Town Square. Saturday the after show. Sunday the BBC Radio Two stage. Okay. Who are you matching it with? My number one pick is a two-time Canadian Country Music Association Female Artist of the Year. She won the Juno Country Album of the Year in 2017. She has three gold singles and the platinum single for probably Jamie's favourite single title, Cheap Wine and Cigarettes, is Jess Moskaluk. Like, she, was def- she was on my board. And she I had to be on your board. Her. And um, she was actually one of the artists you can see for free on Saturday. So yeah. she's playing twice on Saturday at the Town Square, which is one of the ticketed venues. But she will also be playing at the big entrance stage. And she is probably, I would say, the biggest artist to be playing the big entrance stage. So I think that's going to be a huge one for her to introduce herself to the UK fan base. But yeah, I had to go her number one. Yeah, Purely because you know, she was on the free stage. Yeah, well, like, as as well, like she she was like female vocalist of the year. Like Tennille Towns has been CCMA female vocalist for like three years running. I think Megan Patrick had two or three years kind of before that. Like Jess was kind of the person that was kind of having you know a little block before. So it's really really cool that she's you know coming over to get to do it. Okay, so well, I say she she was on my board. Um, I thought she would be. Num- but my number two pick is someone that I got to speak to over Zoom last year, and I'm so thrilled that I'm going to get to hang out with her, her, her in person next week. Uh, she is playing the Spotlight stage on Saturday in London. She's going to be playing the Spotlight stage in Glasgow as well. Uh, she's got a set uh, in the BBC Radio 2 stage in the go. Uh, she's incredible. She's only 18. She's full of sass. Like, she's my number four she, pick as well, by the way. She is amazing. And she's one of my absolute favorite people I've ever got to speak to. And everyone is going to adore her and fall in love with her. Big Machine Records, Starlet, going to be their next big star, Calista Clark. You've stolen my number two and my number four. Well, it's good that we're both getting the right people and kind of I think like, we're, yeah. So, Callista Clark, as you said, she will be appearing twice in London on Saturday. So, she will be on the Radio 2 stage during the day, as well as obviously the Spotlight stage in the main arena. Spotlight stage is allowed in this. It was only main stage we said we couldn't have. Yeah. And then, yeah, then she will be doing Spotlight again in Glasgow. Okay. Time for my number two pick. Right, let me go down my draft board. Okay. I'm sticking in Canada for this. Okay. There's a, there's a big Canadian influence on my draft board. So I first uh, met this artist in Berlin. So he was scheduled to come over two years ago. It is now, isn't it? So yeah, I met up with him in Berlin, had a great chat in Berlin. He was brilliant live. His most recent track, No Truck Song, won the Ontario Country Music Single of the Year and is nominated for the Canadian Country Music Association Single of the Year. It is a gold single for him. He's had four Juno nominations, seven gold singles, and his debut, Get By in 2012, went platinum. platinum. It is Tim Hicks, which I think is going to be a new name for a lot of people. Which is yeah. why I want him quite high up my draft board. And again, he's going to be in London all weekend. There's going to be plenty of chances to see him. 
Kicking off on Friday, he'll be in the town square. Saturday, he's on the All Bar One, right? It used to be, I'm assuming it's still right up the top on the Country Music Week Hub. Yep. If you're awake and not drunk too much Saturday night after Darius Rucker, he'll be again in the saloon in All Bar One. And then on Sunday, he'll be on the Radio Two stage. I think that's nice. a solid pick there for number two. Okay. I think you, I think you, I think you've done solid the way you're representing Team Canada. Um, I feel like I, I need a big I, Canadian I, flag in the background now. Well, I know, well, well, massively, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to quite rep Team Canada, but I'm going to stay outside of the US for my third pick. Um, I mentioned them earlier. Um, they're, they're just something else. Is the only way to describe them. They have a track out with Jordan Davis right now called Good Beer, which is an absolute jam. Uh, and we're going to have an interview coming with them very, very shortly in the next couple of days. The pride of Australia, uh, Tom and Mitch, uh, you're just going to fall in love with them. Um, they're just just unreal. Uh, Seaforth, like for me, does. There's something really, really cool. You'll hear people say they're the Australian Dan and Jay, um, which is possibly the best way to kind of describe them. Um, but if you kind of imagine like Dan and Jay that misbehave massively and that you want to be best friends with and sat in a bit sat in a pub drinking beer with all day, that's pretty much what she thought of. And they're, they're another artist who were meant to have been here two years ago, weren't they? That would have been their yeah. first time. So this, they've made the effort two years on to still come back and make it right let's give the rundown of where they are so on friday they will be in scotland on i guess they get a day off on saturday on well, sunday for, during they, the day for, time for, they'll be in the town square sunday evening they are going to be on the spotlight stage and then they're going to be closing out c to c 2022 at the official after party at the Indigo. And I don't know if they're actually playing, but from when I spoke to Milia, they also did say they're going to be heading over to Dublin uh, to get some real Guinness. <laughs> when I, and w w when the interview comes out, you'll understand what I mean by why they're excited about real Guinness. Says the man who was drinking Fosters while he spoke to them. No, I genuinely wasn't. I, I fought long and hard. It's like, I should troll them so bad. And it's like, yeah, let's talk about good beer. Hey, here's Foster's to the Australian duo. Um, but I was drinking Coors as, as we were too. Okay, I've got a bit of a wild card now for my number three pick. This country singer, calling him a country singer, is... The voice of Chuck E. Cheese. He has sold over 4 million albums and has a double platinum single, none of which are anything to do with country music. But making his country music debut at C2C London 2022, is, the first time ever live country solid. music. Massively solid is Jarrett Reddick, also known as Jarrett from Bowling for Soup. The, the, this was my next pick. This was number four of my list. This is my he big is, wild card one for the weekend. He, he, is, he is the only person playing the festival that has a UK top 10 single, like out of anyone, Miranda, Kip, Luke, kind of everyone he's the only person with uk top 10 single and just kind of dropping you know his solo project on country for the first time um and he's somebody that is playing the big entrance stage that anyone That's what i was about to say he's another one going for the freebie stage so yeah he will be yeah. playing he's playing twice saturday at the town square sunday big entrance stage which as we've said is the freebie walk up open to anybody stage okay are you, are you consulting your draft board there i see i i am heavily consulting the draft board as obviously you should do um so my pick four um someone i spoke to at the start of the week uh he's had two absolute monster hits in the states 
who's going to be playing uh, in London on Saturday on the Spotlight Stage, Glasgow on the Spotlight Stage on Sunday. He's also going to be appearing on the BBC Radio 2 stage in the go. Um, Matt Stell, uh, I think Boyfriend Season, his new single, is going to be something that people over here are absolutely going to love. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's a very, very tall man. Um, he, you know, are we going to feel sore? Oh, massively. It'd be kind of like an Eric Paslay scenario over again <laughs> if you ever spoke to him. Like, because when I spoke to Paslay, it was basically like recreating a scene from like Lord of the Rings with like a hobbit or a dwarf and kind of like someone else. Um, but yeah, Matt Stell, like, I think people are going to, you know, love him. Um, he, he's got a great voice. He's got some great tracks in that locker. And, you know, it's great that he's coming over. And again, we put a piece out of him at the start of the week. Um, and there's a lot of new music on the way from him as well. Okay, back to me, is it? Right. Number four. This is an artist I've actually known of for about a year, but obviously never had the chance to see. He released his debut EP in February of 2021. And for me, it kind of came from nowhere, and especially with like the artists that are on it. So this is a debut EP that features... Old Dominion's Brad Tercy. It features to Neil Towns, John Osborne, Vince Gill, Cassie Ashton, and Brad Paisley. That's not bad company for a debut EP. So with my well, my number four pick, I'm going for Alex Hall, who will also be playing four times over the London weekend. He's Saturday, Radio 2 stage, and the Country Music Week Hub. Sunday, he's at the Town Square and also the Bluebird Cafe. And if you entered the competition to Neil Towns has been running, she has just announced today that he will also be appearing at that on the Saturday lunchtime if you are one of the lucky few to be able to get in there. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Because for my number five pick, as Ian just alerted to you that how Alex Hall will be joining Tenille Towns as part of her very special showcase on the Saturday lunchtime. The other artist that she has mentioned will be joining her um, is someone I was, I actually met at the Troubadour, um, I think it was about five, maybe six years ago. She'd been over here when Lucy Silvers played like her like big show, um, at two to nine and like she was playing the kind of gig after she is genuine songwriting royalty uh she's had songs cut by garth brooks uh, which i'm pretty sure will what will be her ending the cma songwriting showcase on that thursday she's had a monster hit from megan trainer and john legend uh she's had uh hits cut by cheat codes she's had you know across the whole spectrum of genres she's genuinely one of the nicest people on the entire planet and if you do not already know how wonderful amazing caitlin smith is as a person and have not listened to her as a vocalist you are 100 percent going to be blown away and she is playing pretty much all day every day across the festival as well It's going to be a busy, a busy one for her. It is indeed. Right. Up to my number five pick. So, oh, how can I introduce this artist? Right. Probably better known as a songwriter than an artist. Um, the hits are endless. He's written songs that include, crikey, where do I start? One Call Away by Charlie Puth. He wrote Someday for Rob Thomas. We're talking about, I want to say Stuck Like Glue as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm yeah. My notes. I um, know where you're going. We've written songs for Jamie Foxx, Billy Currington, Tim McGraw, Kane Brown. Keith Urban, Chris Jansen. 
the hits are pretty endless for this guy. And it has to be Shy Carter just because you just want to know where all these hits come from, really. Like the brain behind these hits. I think that's the bit I'm most looking forward to seeing because these are songs that whether you're into country music or not, you know a song that he has written, guaranteed. Like, I'm just trying to find. So he's had, obviously, number one hits on the Billboard, on the country Billboard charts. It's, yeah, just never-ending almost. I think he is going to be one of those people I think might surprise a few Yeah, for stepping into the limelight from being a songwriter. So, again... He's a busy man over the weekend, so he's got the Town Square Friday, Radio Two stage, and the Country Music Week Hub Saturday, and then we'll obviously be sitting back at the Bluebird Cafe Sunday to share what I am very jealous of, probably some very good stories behind some of these hits. And I think the bit I like about the Bluebird Cafe bit is the artists do play some of the songs that they've written for people. And I'm pretty yeah. sure you'll hear songs say, like Stuck Like Glue, like Someday for Rob Thomas, and obviously One Call Away for Charlie Puth. Yeah, I, I've i got kind of a lot of like really cool names kind of that are still quite high on my list as the board of where to go. Um, okay. These two ladies are my absolute, you know, hidden gem of this festival. I think they are so cool in terms of what they do. Um, it's a really different sort of setup for a harmony duo where one plays acoustic guitar, the other one plays drums. They were named as part of CMT's Next Women of Country a couple of years back. Um, they're from just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, they are an absolute hoot on their socials if you don't already follow them. And I really hope people will love them as much as I do. Um, and I think that, you know, the two of them are just genuinely going to blow people away with their sound and in terms of what they do. And Walker County, for me, are, you know, are going to be something else and i think people are going to love them and more importantly can love their sound like someone someone is a, a track that people will hear for the first time and go oh my god that is such a jam i'm looking forward to seeing them for the first time because again i think it's one of those artists who's appeared only in the last couple of years isn't it really i think it's really cool just the whole idea of like you know how you're getting someone that's you know bringing drums into it while they're sort of doing vocals and harmony and you don't sort of see that too often and say i i really like it i think i think they're a lot of fun and i think that people will like them as people they're playing the um saloon stage on the friday night i know so after yeah after the main night, stage isn't it that one um and they've got kind of sets that um town square they're doing something in the indigo and they're doing something in the yeah Australia. they've got friday the saloon at night saturday country music week hub and then a double show on sunday at the town square and also the bbc radio two stage which is the one in the indigo cool right in pick six pick six right here we go do I, do I start with the songwriting credits? I'm, su I'm surprised this one's still on the board, actually. I thought he might have gone. Um, so this is a singer I know quite well. I've met up with him several times. I've taken him to football games. I've met up with him. He absolutely smashed um, Buckland Boots last summer in just a non-stop hour and a half performance. He's written songs for One Direction. He's had a Brit Award, I think. I, don't, I can't remember if it was nominated. I think it was nominated for a Brit Award. No, it, it, it won. All, no, yeah. all, about, 
all about tonight was a Brit Award winning song. Was it all, was it all, oh, okay, I knew it had been nominated. He's had gold singles of his own, he's had platinum singles of his own. He's currently on tour in Canada. He's definitely I think it, he's definitely squeezing this in to finish his tour in Canada. We'll probably literally jump in straight on a plane to London. It is um, probably one of my favourite Canadian artists in Tay Bay. And I said, brilliant every time I catch up with him. He's amazing with a full band. I'm expected. I don't know what we're getting next weekend, but it probably will just be an acoustic one, I would think. But yeah, acoustic, he's great. Full band, he's great. You cannot complain. And hey. check where he's playing. I haven't checked that one yet. Oh, he's playing loads. Friday. Yeah, he's Friday. Saturday, Radio Sunday. Stage. Saturday, Town Square, which I know is actually about 2.30. Because it's literally as soon as we finish something, then I can go catch him. Sunday, he'll be with Shy Carter on the Bluebird Cafe. And then we'll also be playing the Country Music Week Hub. So, yeah, plenty of chances to see Tebe. If you haven't seen him before, I say I can highly recommend the songs. He's had songs on the radio here. And yeah, he's definitely one not to miss. Right. The final see, countdown. I, see, I'm I'm massively loaded because I've still got like six names left on my board. So I've got I've got board. three, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm into fourteen. So like the ones that are not kind of make my last pick. I had Swinney, uh, who obviously, you know, she did a fantastic job at the um, at Wembley uh, doing the anthem over the weekend uh, and Robin Ottolini was another one um, F1 you know F150 if you haven't heard it you know it's all over you know TikTok and all that sort of stuff people are going to love her as well um, Everett who I'm going to be speaking to tomorrow they're really cool in terms of what they do as well um, and it's a, between these last three like I feel we haven't picked a UK act. I know that's what I'm thinking. I have got so a UK I have, act I have on my board. So I have one that are high on my board. Um, but if do I put them above the others? Yeah, I'm going to be good. Okay, so the two others that I'm kind of having to miss out on Ruthie Collins, who's one of my absolute best friends in the entire world. Uh, she's going to be on tour with Sam Outlaw. Uh, she's not one of our picks. Neither is Lacey K. Booth, um, who is coming over for the first time. She was kind of part of like the American Idol alumni uh, a couple of years back. But my seventh round selection, the British Country Music Association Group of the Year, the best act that our country has to offer by an absolute mile. They are some of my best friends, um, and I don't care how shameless that sounds. Um, they're great people. They're even better to watch live. Um, they're playing their sets on the big entrance stage and the town square stage on Sunday. Uh, they've just put out their new single last week, Come Over, and Morgan Way are the absolute bomb. I think that's a solid, solid UK pick there. Well, no, I, I sort of felt it's like, okay, we definitely have to put one on there and they deserve to be on there as well, like massively. It's like, you know, we're talking about we're having a UK festival of country music. So we need to have a UK act kind of represented. And I think they are the best act to be doing it. Um, and yeah, I'd say they're great people. They like drinking shots. Um, they account for hangovers in my life that I can't I can't, can't remember um, and yeah if you've not seen them before make sure you do because they're amazing so I, I had I still actually got quite a few names on my draft board here so of the non-UK slash Irish acts I still had Bre Brayland Breland who's yeah, yeah. obviously debut single My Truck went platinum he's featured um, on the track beers on me with hardy and dirks bentley i also had lane hardy who was the 2019 american idol winner 
and released. Yeah, he 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 was the guy that well, won that's, that's over. He he won the year that Lacey K Booth went on as well. So they were both on the same year. Um, so they're both making their first sort of appearance coming over. Now of my UK acts slash Irish, all of them are actually playing the icon stage. So one I had down who has kind of disappeared for a few years, but it was quite a big name a couple of years back is Catherine McGrath. Because again, she just kind of effectively it feels like she vanished a bit and has now kind of reappeared when the big gig came along. I also had down Harley Moon Kemp to see someone that we featured quite a few times that I've never seen alive. Harley, Harley's great. I definitely want to kind of check her out because she's playing, she's doing that icon stage, the garden stage, and she's doing another one as well, possibly. Big entrance. Big entrance. Yeah. Harley's great. So if people don't know who Harley is, she is the sister of Capital FM breakfast show presenter Roman Kemp. And also the daughter of uh, Spandau Ballet bassist Martin Kemp and former Wham backing singer Shirley Kemp. Uh, or Shirley, I don't know what Shirley's. I don't know. What she, but yeah, so, you know, Harley, she doesn't kind of play off that, but there's a lot of kind of musical, you know, heritage and like really good tunes and stuff there. And, you know, if, you, if you've not heard what she does and, what she's put out before it's it's great and i think that a lot of people will love her like lucky's such a great tune i'm just really kind of trying to fill what i think of like harley songs off the top of my head uh she looks like me as well which is kind of like the ballad um which is absolutely beautiful um but yeah she'll win even more friends than yeah you, you didn't know, pick her really so but, but i'll say yeah she was she was down my board but I think we're going to go with different artists for number seven. I say she's definitely one that I will be checking out just to kind of, yeah, see what she is like live. I said, having been someone I know we've featured so much over the last kind of year and a half or so, and I'm sure we'll end up catching up for it at some point over the weekend. But I have gone for a UK male artist. He performed sort of live in person for the first time as a solo artist at Buckle and Boots last year. That was his first time ever playing live as a solo artist. He is formerly from The Wandering Hearts. So yeah, I had to go. And again, I just loved him at Buckle and Boots. And festivals I always find you tend to like dip in and out of sets a lot, especially if it's not one of the main artists you're there for. And I found myself watching his whole set. So yeah, Tim Frotty Jones, is definitely one I'm looking forward to seeing again because yeah, he has so much talent. That guy, it is unbelievable. Uh, I've been lucky to see him a couple of times appear on sort of certain small little gigs. So yeah, I cannot wait to see him again. That's solid. That's kind of good in competing. So like, so I I pulled out the people of the world: Willie Jones, Calista Clark, C. Thorpe, Matt Stell, Caitlin Smith. Walker County and Morgan Way is, you know, my magnificent seven, which I think is like, you know, they're definitely people I think everyone should be going out to see. And, you know, you did pretty good too. So, yeah, I had Jess Moskaluk at number first pick, Tim Hicks, Jarrett Reddick, Alex Hall, Shy Carter, Tay Bay for the Canadian hat trick, and finishing with Tim Frotty Jones. So we have one week to go. It might actually happen. The roof is fine, apparently. They're not bothered about the roof anymore. There is no storms forecast to rip any more of the roof off. Surely not much now can stop this festival going ahead. Well, let's hope not, to be honest. So we'll be there. It's, it's going to be wild. Like, so we're, we're kind of up in town from Wednesday with kind of things going on. So, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, it's going to be mental. Um, I, my liver is kind of more concerned than my wallet right now, which I think is kind of how it's not been in previous years, because I've sort of gone from like, when you've been sat at home 
uh, for so long, it's like, you know, four or five pints is a really heavy night. Um, and you don't want to get out of bed the next morning. So the prospect of kind of doing even more than that over those, you know, four or five days is going to be quite wild. But there's there's so much going on. We'll be around. Um, we're hoping to record something while we're there next weekend, uh, while we're up. Um, we've got a couple of friends up there as well that we're going to try our very, very best to rope in to come and join us. They're not playing the festival, but... Um, they absolutely should be if they wanted to. Um, hint, hint, hint. If they kind of see and hear this, uh, so we'll drag you in. Uh, but if not, we'll have to have a beer with you. And again, the same with anyone. You know, come and chat to us. If you like what we do, tell someone about it. And, you know, we really enjoy bringing all this coverage to you. Yep, yeah, we will hopefully see you all in person next week. And I say we will be filming somewhere next Saturday live from the O2. So if there's two idiots talking into a phone. Yeah. It, it, it's not it's not quite the same bat time, same bat channel. It's like, we don't know what time, we don't know kind of where, but we'll be doing something and, you know, we look forward to it. And like we said earlier, we, we've got a lot coming kind of over next week in terms of content. Um, so we'll like, you know, I say Seaforth, Everett, um, Caitlin Smith, Calista Clark, Tierra, Lacey K. Booth, um, Taylor next Saturday, and hopefully a couple of others as well that we're sort of working on too. So we can't wait to bring it out to you. Thank you and good night, everybody. Ciao for now.